Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brighton and I am a part-time reseller. Um, I resell on all the platforms. Um, all my links will be in the description, my Poshmark, my eBay, my Mercari. Um, guys, I had my very first Etsy sell, so that was pretty exciting. Um, I don't think I'm gonna renew my my account, but still it was awesome to get at least one Etsy sale. Um, today we're gonna be unboxing a ThreadUp DIY jewelry box. This one is coming from Phoenix, Arizona. This box came absolutely destroyed, but hey, as long as the jewelry is in good condition, that's all that matters. So I have not opened this. Guys, there was a comment in my last video saying, oh, I planted that um, Tiffany chain. I just want to put a um, disclaimer. I have never and will never tamper with my boxes. I have never added pieces to a box to make you know it more clickbaity or to have a better thumbnail picture or title. I have never done that and I will never do that. So to the person who commented that, that's not correct. <laughs> but um, I have been very fortunate to get very good boxes. Um, so I never had to lie about my boxes. So just putting it out there, I have never and will never be doing that. However, guys, I can already see silver. I can see a pair of Kendra Scott earrings right here. I can see a Kendra Scott earring right here. So I can already tell this is going to be a really good box. But there's a really pretty something right here. Looks like maybe a Swarovski crystal. I'm going to drop you guys a little bit closer so you can see all that good stuff i am going to take a um thumbnail picture and i will be right back guys all right guys i went ahead and took my thumbnail picture so let's get started um i'm really excited about this box um if you don't know <laughs> i love selling kendra scott jewelry um i've had extremely luck extremely good luck finding rare kendra scott and I have sold um, a Kendra Scott necklace for, or sorry, a pair of Kendra Scott earrings for as much as $350 for a pair of earrings. I've sold a pair for $250 and I've also sold a pair for $10. So I have sold Kendra at all price points. Um, rules for buying with me. If you are a new customer, I will need you to fill out my jot form link, which is in my description, or send me an email asking for my jot form link and I will send that to you. If there's anything in this video that you want, you can send me an email at brightenyourday at yahoo.com and send me an email with a timestamp or a screenshot. Please don't just describe it to me. I will need a timestamp or a screenshot. Um, I accept Venmo, Cash App, and Zelle. Um, so three different payment methods. And I will, if I don't give a price in my video, I will have a price right here on the screen. So that's, so that's that. Okay, so the first thing we have is a little faux turquoise adjustable bracelet. Um, let's just do $3 on it. It's a nice little faux turquoise bracelet. We have a really pair, pretty pair of um, earrings. It looks like all of the rhinestone. Oh, we're missing one tiny rhinestone right there at the top. Um, but I really don't think you could tell so I might just hold on to these and use these for my own personal crafting. Okay, we have a strand of what looks like sodalite or lapis. Let me just, I'm gonna, I don't, I feel like I'm too zoomed in. So we're going to zoom out a tiny bit, guys. Okay, I zoomed us out a little bit, so I'm hoping that's a little bit better. This is interesting. I don't think this is silver so what are you it is marked oh I've had this mark before oh um I will put it on the screen I have had this mark before I do know what this mark is DJ Dianjo Dianjo Danjo Danjo is it Danjo D Django something but I I I can't remember the exact name of it um, and now it might be missing a bead right here, unless that is it's how it's supposed to be. I wouldn't think this is sterling, but we will test it just to make sure. Um, but yeah, I will hopefully have a price and a name on the screen. Ooh, this looks like real pearls, actually. These look like real pearls. It is marked Michael Dawkins. Michael Dawkins? Hawkins, 
M-I-C-H-A-E-L-D-A-W-K-I-N-S. It is marked 925 Thailand on the clasp. And this is where it's marked Michael Dawkins. I don't know that brand. I'm assuming it's something really nice. Um, I, I'm excited to look this up. It looks very quality made. So these are sterling beads, I would assume, with real pearls. Um, I don't know that brand, but I, I've, I want to say this is something pretty good. So sterling silver. Okay, so we have a gold tone hoop. Also, guys, I will be announcing who won my, th um, my three subscriber giveaways. Oh, this also is marked on the hook. Um, same thing. I, I want to say this is Michael something. Yeah, Michael Daw Hawkins. Dawkins. Michael Dawkins. D-A-W-K-I-N-S. And a 925 Thailand. So we have two of them. So that's awesome. So again, we will test all of our sterling at the end of the video. And hopefully... Um, I will have some information and maybe a price on the screen. So those are cool. All right. Um, stir well, we met. So this, these are both marked silver already. We just started the video and these are already silver. So that's awesome. And no, I didn't plant them. <laughs> um, all right. So this is, this also looks like it's 925. It is marked 925 on the toggle. Is this also the Michael somebody? I do not see any maker's marks, just the 925, but it is a 925 silver toggle with these, what I believe are lapis azuli. So they do have gold flakes. So there's lapis without gold flakes, and then there's lapis azuli with the gold flakes. This is definitely the azuli. And that is stunning. So that's cool. All right, then we have Really pretty earring. I believe I've sold this earring before. Maybe not. Mine was 1928. That's really pretty. Okay, we have little dangle earrings. Um, if we get earrings, I test them all. This is also marked. This is marked IW925 Mexico. We have a little single earring. Put that to the side. We have this faux pearl earring. We have this necklace that is marked... Korea. Um, this does look like okay, it does have some wear. It's not terrible, but we'll just do that one a dollar. We have this gorgeous necklace. It gives me major, um, is it Moonies that does the, um, the, my, um, the mosaic mother of pearl. That is a stunning earring. Put that to the side. We have a ring. It is just a fashion ring. Guys, Lindsay over at um, Lindsay Clark, this is size six. We'll just do $2 on it. It is a silver tone feather ring. Gives me lucky brand vibes, size six. She got a really, um, well, you know, it wasn't the greatest box, but I would have been happy with it because she got an amazing 95 silver turquoise ring in it. Um, it wasn't the greatest box. But she definitely got some good pieces. She got a really cool Madewell piece. So I'm going to link Lindsay at Lynn's M. Clark um, video right here. If you want to check out her unboxing. Um, but yeah, I was I was going to buy it even though I knew it wasn't fit me. Because I just would have liked it to add to my own personal collection. But it already sold. This is Mart's P-L-O. And that's it. P-L-O. I don't want to say this is sterling, but it kind of has the sterling tarnish. So I think this could be sterling. PLO. I will have to look that up. Um, okay, so next we have a broken baguette necklace. Oh, and this was Mart 2925. So I will see if I can, there is a way to fix this. I'm not sure if there is or not, but that was a broken 925 necklace. Womp womp. We have a feather hoop. We have this amazing seed bead cuff bracelet. It is flexible, so you, know, you can get it on and off. Um, let's just do $3 on this amazing seed bead bangle bracelet. Next, we have a cuff bracelet. There's no markings. That is a matte brass. 
It does stretch a little bit, so you could get it to fit multiple wrist sizes. Let's just do $3. We have a single earring. We have a, another stretch bracelet. Um, it'll just be a dollar. Okay, let's see. Ooh, I see a lot of, these are the, if these are Kendra, which I'm assuming they are, these are called the Danielle or the Daniela. Um, and they do pretty good. They're the more, they're more of the common pieces, but it still does very well. This is the cutest little frog. It's missing an eye though. We'll see if we get the matching eyeball. Um, and yeah, I, for the most part, I know most of my Kendra Scott pieces. There's some vintage pieces I just, I don't know. I still have to look up when I get them, but the more common ones are pretty easy to remember. Um, this is a stunning, I want to say J. Crew. Oh yeah, J. Crew. Absolutely stunning earring. Wow. That is stunning. This is probably one of the rare ones. And all the gorgeous rhinestones are present and it's in excellent condition. And there's the J. Crew mark. So let's hope that we find the match to this because this is amazing. Wow. I don't see it right off the hand, but you know, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so we have a little hoop earring. It's a huggy hoop. I don't see any markings. It's magnetic. So let's see if we get the match. Earring, we'll see if we get the match. We have a bangle bracelet. This is gonna be major Brighton vibes. It is a leather with like this filigree scroll work pieces in between. Um, I will Google Lens that, make sure it's not Brighton. And if it is um, is or isn't, I will have a price and inf information on the screen. Um, next, we have this bracelet. Okay. I don't see any markings on this. It's reversible. So it has like this link on this side and you flip it over and you have this link on that side. So it's interesting. Um, it has some wear, so we're just put that side and I'll look up and see if it's worth anything, if it's worth my time fixing up. This looks like it could possibly be a little piece of 925. I'm not sure, we will test it, but it's a little lapis heart. This is regular lapis. I don't see any gold, oh I do. So this is lapis azuli, so we'll test that. And look, we got the match this gorgeous heart so I will have to do some research on those. I don't see markings, but they definitely give me Moonies vibe. So we'll look up those. Okay, so here's the Kendra. Uh, I don't see any markings, but that's okay. Um, if they're her older pieces, they're not going to be marked. This one does have some wear. So that's, pro that's unfortunate. Even if I get the match, that one's not gonna go for a whole lot. This one is also not marked, but that's okay. Kendra, again, does not mark all of her pieces. Um, but yeah, so that this is the Danielle. We'll see if we get the match. I have received them not marked and they were nine two and they were Danielle. Or um, they were nine, Kendra Scott. This is marked 925. If you can see that in there. And this is a little like script. I'm not sure what language that is. Um, it is marked 925. It is on the small side. It is a size six and a quarter. Six and a quarter, not quite six and a half. Um, I will do some research on that one. Okay. And next we have another ring that looks like it could be 925. This one's amazing. I might keep this. This is marked S I L. S-I-L. It's all it is marked. It is definitely sterling though. Please fit me. Uh, it's stuck. It may not fit me. I still might keep it anyways. I'm um, just adding to my personal collection. It is a seven and a half. Dang it. <laughs> I love this. It is a horseshoe and it's marked S-I-L. And I want to say this is definitely 925. It has some really nice um, detail work on either side. So it's a really nice ring. So I'll have to look into that one. 
Okay, we have, oh, I think we have the match to that pair of 925 earrings, we do. So we'll test those, and if they test the silver, we'll, I'll have a price on the screen, or I'll put a price at the end of the screen, or at the end of the video. Oh my goodness, these are adorable! They're little cufflinks that are like the little, um, is it the score thing? I can't remember what it's called, but it's, it says movie, and it says October 1950 exit. That is adorable. Then we have this cufflink that has a four leaf clover. No markings on those. Those are awesome. All right, so we have this gorgeous um, statement earring. This reminds me of sterling. Those are all cat's eye stones. It is marked. Guys, it's marked James Avery. There's the James Avery mark right there. Is his little candlestick um, with J A at 925. So this is amazing. Um, this will be easy to look up. Um, that's amazing. Um, I will try and give a subscriber price on this. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm starting to grow a um, James Avery collection strictly from thread up. Um, all right, I got my measuring tape. It is about two and a quarter, just shy of two and a half inches. So that is amazing. And we will test that for sterling just to make sure it's James Avery. Okay. Um, next we have another little fashion ring. This is a bypass ring, I believe. Oh no, it's, it's connected. It's on the tiny side. It is a size three. So that will just be a dollar. I think maybe you would wear it like, kind of like that like on the top of your finger. So that'll just be a dollar. I have another pendant. Watch this one be James Avery. <laughs> this actually gives me very David Ur um yeah David Yurman vibes. Um, it's really pretty though. So let's just do three dollars on that. It's just silver tone with gold tone and a piece of cat sign in the middle. Okay, we have an earring. Um, we'll see if we get the match. We have ooh a pearl with a little piece of a uh, mother of pearl. So we have a pearl, mother of pearl, and a seed bead. And those might be, that might be a 925 ring, earring. Oh, nope, it is not. So we'll see if we get the match. Um, guys, and check these little studs. I have received earrings that were little itty bitty studs that have been 925 and gold. So always check the little studs. That one's not marked. We have that earring, we have that earring. This one's pretty, this gives me Kate Spade vibes. It's pretty. This one looks like it could be, yep, this one is Mart L.A. I'm not sure. 14K? 14, 14K. I guess I think we might have 14K. They're not diamonds, so I'm not sure what they are. It's marked, two, it's just marked with two words or two letters or something. So we will test that for 14K at the end of the video. Okay, so we have another little ring. Let's just do that one a dollar with the other one. It's probably gonna be about a size three. Yep, so we'll do dollar for both of those little rings. It's an earring, an earring. This is a... Danish Designs. Pilgrim. Pilgrim Danish Designs. I don't know that one. Um, and it's marked Pilgrim on the back as well. It's really pretty. It's an antique like matte silver tone. And it has these really pretty flowers. So there's like two flowers and then a little pearl. So very cute. Um, Pilgrim. I've never heard of that brand before. I love looking up new brands. Um, hopefully I will have a price on the screen on that for you guys. Got, by the way, guys, my prices are already, the prices that I put on the screen are already 40 to 50% of what I will be listing the price, like listing them for. Um, so please keep that in mind. For the most part, I do not accept offers on things. So the price is the price that I put on the screen for the most part, unless, you know, I don't know. Also guys, if this video is over a month old, 
more than likely I do not have the pieces anymore. I don't know where the pieces are. Um, so I'm sorry. Um, this looks like it could be something. This is Mart. Nine two five. This is marked a little nine two. This is a little, really pretty little nine two five earring. Let's see if it's a stone. Oh wow, it is. So it is going up to topaz. So we have a blue topaz, and let's see what these little stones are around it. All right, so they're so tiny I cannot test the stones around it, but the stone in the middle is testing as a topaz. So that is absolutely stunning. So we will you know, put that to the side to test. Okay, we're getting a nice bit of sterling. Okay, and then we have this little earring that is, oh, it has a little opal. I already, um, my cousin is probably gonna want this. This is Mart S925, and this is a stunning little like Northern Star with a little dinkling opal. Like how adorable is that? It's not testing as anything in the middle, but that is definitely an opal. I don't believe Opal's test is anything, so we'll see. Okay, next we have an Alex and Ani. It has, you know, the traditional kind of Alex and Ani wear. They are like double or triple silver plated, so they do clean up pretty easily. It says today is an opportunity, and we'll just do um, $2 on it because it has, um, you know, somewhere in, you'll be buying it as is, and you can clean it yourself. Um, next we have this like cool brass filigree bra um, earring. Okay, let's, anything that's like easy to pull out, we're gonna do that first because I don't really feel like untangling all of this right now. Okay, oh, wait a minute, I see the matches to the Kendra. Okay, none of these Kendra earrings are marked, which is interesting. So we have silver and gold. So I think we already have the gold one, so we need, still need the silver one. Okay, here's another necklace. This oh, don't tell me this is Judith Ripka. Don't tell me this is Judith Ripka. Cause look, 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 look. It has the Florida Lees. Florida Lee. Um, this is this might be Judith Ripka. Let's see. And if it is, it'll be marked inside the lobster claw. Holy moly. Guys, we have Judith Ripka. It is marked Judith Ripka. I've only gotten Drew Thrifka maybe twice, possibly three times. Um, it is a very good brand, um, extremely good bolo. If you see anything that's marked Judith Thrifka or has this like Florida Lee tag, um, she's like kind of known for her like textured links. Um, this is very signature Drew Thrifka. This is amazing. And this is sterling, I'm sure with 14 or 18 karat gold accents. This is amazing. Um, this is 18 inches, so it is my length. Um, I will have a subscriber price on the screen, but this is amazing. Judith Ripka. Judith Ripka. James Avery. We're, we're doing really good. Hey, okay, we have another one of those little cufflinks. Those are adorable. I'll have a price on the screen for those. Adorable. I love those. Okay, this gives me Alexis Batar vibes because I have received this exact ring and it was Alexis Batar. Mine unfortunately had a nice bit of wear though. Okay, this is not Mart. It I I'm like 99% sure this is Alexis Batar. I've received this in rose gold. Um and I Google Lens and it came right at Alexis Batar. So I'm gonna have to go over this. Oh nope, it is Mart. A, B. I knew it. There is a marking right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little circle with an A and a B. That is Alexis Batar. And we have a little Alexis Batar ring. This box is amazing. Okay, this one, was there a receipt in the, I don't think there was a receipt in the box. So I have no idea where this one came from. This is a size six. Size six Alexis Batar ring. And it is an overall pretty good condition. There is like a little bit of smudge right here, which I will try and wipe off. All of the rhinestones seem to be there. So this is awesome. This is awesome. Okay. Okay. Now we have 
this earring that I'm not sure how that goes. So we're gonna put that to the side. This is a really pretty little dainty rhinestone earring, CZs. Okay, this is a abs. This is another Alan Schultz. Schultz? I'm not really sure how you pronounce his name, but it's um designer. <laughs> So we've got like two designer pieces so far. This and the, um, well, three. This, the Alexis Batar, and the um, Judith Ripka, I would say, are all designer. And I don't know about that Dawkins. Um, this is Alan Schultz. ABS. Abs. So this is insane. I will have a price on the screen for that. This box is amazing. Um, I think we have to match these. I will do, all, I will match up all of the earrings at the end and we'll give you guys prices and matches. Um, oh my gosh. This is not marked, but this is definitely sterling. Oh, this is not marked anything. Um, this is 100% sterling. We are missing. No, we are not missing anything. I thought it was missing one in the middle. Um, an amazing, I would assume this is um, native or at least Mexican. Um, now it has been sized. You can actually see the soldering marks right there. So maybe when the person sized it, they got rid, like it cut off the mark or something. Um, it's an eight. Um, so actually, no, that's actually kind of tight on me and it's an eight. So maybe not. Maybe I had too many gummy bears today. Um, but that's amazing and I will be wearing that and I will be keeping that. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> we have a really pretty art glass starfish. He'll just be $3 if anyone likes him. He's adorable. We have the match to this one, which again, gives me designer vibes. It's really pretty. This I believe is a Natasha. I wanna say I've had these before and they were Natasha. Really pretty, bright fuchsia pink. I think the match is in here. It is. Um, let's do $5 on the clip-ons. If they don't sell my video, these are an easy $20 list. So absolutely gorgeous, bright fuchsia pink clip-on earrings, and they are just gonna be $5. I love those. Okay, we have this like handmade clay. We have a little that. <gasps> we have the match. We have the match to the little like North Star earrings. Northern Star, North Star. Guys, I can't. Um, absolutely stunning. Little opal dangles. If my cousin doesn't want them, I think I know someone else who will. Um, really pretty dainty earrings. Love, love those. Okay. Then we have this little earring, no markings. Okay, earrings go this side. Okay, what is this? This is something, ooh, this is a stunning earring. Don't see any maker's marks, but it is an absolutely stunning faceted crystal, no markings. I will have to go over it closer, maybe later. That's pretty. Okay, what is this? It's really interesting. Hmm. Okay. I kind of untangled most of it. Um, I don't see any maker's marks on this, which is really odd because this feels like a very nice substantial piece. We have these baguette cut crystals, a uh, gold tone link, gold tone link, more baguette cut crystals, gold tone link, gold tone link. We have right, just like little rhinestones with this pendant. And then this pendant with has that amazing, um, part on it. So I don't see any makers on this. Let me get a length on it. It is a 16 to 18 inch. All right. Sorry about that. I um, try to zoom out so I could um, get a picture of it. And we're going to Google lens that because it feels extremely nicely made. So that's, that's probably something. All right. So that was everything that we could pulled out so far pull out some more. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, look, it's a pavade clasp. I don't come across that very often. All right. And then we have a little bit more down here at the bottom. Let's dump it all out. Okay. Ah. OK, 
Okay, so that is everything um, that I pulled out. And it looks like we have the match to the black gunmetal. And we have the match to the silver tone. Um, I'm going to pull them all out right here. Okay, so here's all three pairs. Um, I don't see the the like iridescent one, and that one I had to wear anyway, so we're not even going to give a price on that one. But let's do twelve dollars a pair. So we have black with silver, black on gold, and black on black, and those would just be twelve dollars a pair if anyone is interested. They are not marked Kendra Scott, but they are um, definitely the Danielle. So twelve dollars a piece if anyone likes those. That was a good find. Okay, so next we have a brass bangle. Two and a half inch opening. Let's just, it does have some wear. Um, let's just do $3 on it. Okay. <gasps> we have the match. We have the match. This gorgeous J. Crew. OMG, guys. OMG. Um, this is stunning. This is probably easily one of my favorite J. Crew pieces. Well, like at the back, I really like that J. Crew, um, that J. Crew necklace that we just got in my last video. That was insane. Or was it the last video or was it the time before last? I don't know. But that necklace was insane. These are a close second. These are stunning. And I will have a, hopefully a price on the screen on that. So stunning. Okay. Love those. Okay, so now we have a ring that is marked. Love, loyalty, friendship. Um, it says November seven and a half. Shanor S L nine zero T Z. Um, not sure if that's silver or not. I'm gonna assume not. It's not magnetic, so we will test it. But um, really pretty ring. We have another ring. This is marked with a size seven. So let's just double check it to make sure. Nope, it is like a six and three quarters. <laughs> just shy of a seven. Let's just do two dollars on that one. Really pretty filigree work all the way around the band. Okay, next we have a bracelet that you open like so. Like that. I don't see any maker's marks. There is some scratching. It is absolutely stunning. Um, let's do three dollars on this one. If it's like so. All right. Next, we have a really cool ring, but it looks like it does have some wear. Yes, we do have some wear on this ring, but it is so cool. Um, so that'll just be a dollar craft. Womp womp womp. Okay. Next we have a cuff link and these look like Swarovski. They are, it has a swan right here. There is a swan right there in the corner. Do please tell me we got the match of these cause this is epic. I don't see a match. Okay, well this box, who knows how long ago I got this box. If someone has the match to this, please let me know. I would love to have it. Probably for myself to wear. Um, little cuff link. I love that. Okay. Next we have a cuff bracelet. Oh, this has a lot of... This has a whole script on it. Have patience with everything unresolved in your heart. And try to... I don't know. It, it's It's a really long thing. Is this sterling though? This might be sterling. If this is sterling, this is an insane cuff, but it has a whole script across the whole cuff. Um so we we will test that. Okay, um we have a necklace that looks like it was maybe handmade. These do look like they could be real gemstones or even sea glass. It could be sea glass actually. I wonder if that's sea glass. That's pretty. Um, it's a just shy of 16, just shy of 16. 
Um, so let's just do five dollars for the sea glass. That's really pretty. Okay, we have the match that earring, earring, earrings, and all the earrings to the side, unless they look like they could be gold or sterling. <gasps> look how cute. Um, we do. Oh, we have the match the four leaf clover cuff link. Um, those I will probably sell. So I'll have a price on the screen for the four leaf clover cuff links. These are cool. We have this earring. I think we have the match to that. I don't see maker's mark on that one. I don't think it's silver though. It might be. Okay, next we have a. I don't know that mark. Huh. It is a inklet, but I don't know that mark. It's like a mountain, a circle, and then a crown. It's a little inklet with real pearls so hmm have to look into that um these are weird oh wow so it's like a cloth covered hoop and it's just like a silver toned hoop under it those are really cool um those would be two dollars and you can wear them as dingle hoops or take off the covering um so hey you get two rings in one. Oh, this is a snake ring oh this is so cool I don't want to say this is sterling, though. It does not have the look of silver, but it could be. He's a little smushed. There we go. Um, we will test him. Let's get a size. He is a size six. So really cool snake ring. Um, I will have a. We will test him for silver. So we have that. These are Mart. Is that Amarita Sing? I think that's the Amarita Sing logo. I think that's their logo. These are pretty. They almost give me Kendra Scott vibes. Um, we'll see if we get the match. So I'll just be Dollar Craft. We have that earring. With that earring, here's a little chain. The chain is not marked anything. It can go to a seven inch, six and a half inch or six. So six, six and a half or seven. Let's just do $3 on the little gold tone bracelet. Very cute little um, stacking bracelet. And this one is really pretty as well. These have like little opal light beads in between. This would look really pretty stacked with that one. If I had to guess, probably the same measurements. So a, oh no, seven and a half up to a nine. So seven and a half to a nine. And we will just do $2 on that one. We have a Alex and Ani. Again, it does have a tarnish. Let's just do $2 on it. Little pineapple. Don't wear it upside down. <laughs> or do. <laughs> That's a joke. If you know, you know. Um, we'll give a price on those. Give a price on those. Okay, these are all earrings. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Earrings, earrings, and earrings. This looks like it could be gold. This looks like a little gold charm. Let's test it. Could not be. This has a little gold. This is 14 karat gold acid. And it is stain. Wow. Did I have another piece that was on test for gold? This little earring right here. Okay, we have a little 14 karat gold um pendant. Ooh, I think this is so I, I think this is silver, not gold. Let's see though. It's 14k. Yeah, it's cool. It's, this is definitely going to be Tessa's silver, this little earring. Um, this is still sitting. So we have 14 karat gold little pendant. So I'm going to have to Google lens this and see. Me, is it a James Avery? You know, who is it? So 14K. And I use these little um, 80 count, 100 count little cotton squares um, to clean my um, testing stone. So gold, yay! 
I, it's always a good day when you get gold. <laughs> okay, we have all of these seed beads. Okay. So let's untangle. This is really... Oh, guys, we got the match! Yay! Okay. I might wear these. These are marked with the Swarovski Swan. And they are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous Swarovski Crystal Cufflinks. Wow. I absolutely love that. This is definitely going to go in my collection. I love those. Absolutely love those. Okay. That, that's awesome. I love those cufflinks. Okay. What is this? It's long. It is marked. GW. GW. Good works? I don't know. It could be. Um, it's a necklace. It is a toggle length necklace, so you can wear it at different lengths. So let's get a link on it. So it goes from a 22, 23, or 24. So 22, 23, or 24 link, and each one has a different, like, um, inspirational kind of saying. So it says love, hope, wisdom, unity, diversity, faith, believe, humility, peace, freedom, honor, truth, courage, forgive, believe, dream, give, integrity, what does that say? Honesty and encourage. I want to say GW could be good works. I don't know. Um, I'll have to look that up and hopefully I will have a price on the screen for that. It's really cool. Okay. That's what takes me the longest time when I do my videos is all of the research. <laughs> There's so much research that goes into editing my videos because I have to look things up before I get prices. This is marked LC. This LC is the um, Lauren Conrad LC, I believe. It is little faceted beads with like this rope. You guys already know how I feel about cloth jewelry. Um, let's just do a dollar on it. Okay. This is pretty. This is pyrite. This is like faceted pyrite. I'm trying to see if maybe if it's Ibolita. Ibolita usually marks their stuff on the bottom. It's not marked Ibolita. Let's see. Could be a Chan Lu. So it is marked 120th gold filled. So this is a cool. Um, I'm going to do some research on this. Um, we have pyrite and gold filled chain. It is about 23 inches just shy. So I'm going to have to do some research on the pyrite. That's cool. We have an earring. We have a huge hoop. All right. We have this pretty earring. Again, no markings. I wonder if it could be Vintage Swarovski. Could be. Um, this is marked S Steel. J Steel? S Steel. S Steel, so stainless steel. Um, this could go unisex, men's or women's. It is a paper clip chain. Gold over stainless steel it goes from a seven six and a half all the way up to a i want to say that's about a nine just shy of nine like eight and three quarters so let's do four dollars on the stainless steel it's a good one okay um oh we have the parrot oh i hope oh he has a little bit of wear but that's okay he's still adorable all right let's see what else what else? What other treasures do we have here? Oh, I think we have the matching earrings to that. And here's the match. So these are probably steel as well. Okay. I think we have the match right here. So they are probably marked something. I thought they were marked. Um, let's do four dollars for these. So you can do or let's do what? Six dollars for the set if you want the set. So four dollars each or six dollars for the set. Really cool paperclip chain earrings. And I'm going to put that with the bracelet. Okay. This is just a little nothing chain. Um, I won't. Um, that'll just be a dollar. Okay. I had a thought and I can't remember what the thought was. I got distracted with jewelry. <laughs> um. All right, guys, it's time to pick a winner. Um, but before we pick our three jewelry winners, okay, um, I'm gonna go over some rules. So the first rule is you have 72 hours to respond, meaning I need you to comment something in this comment 
Okay, comment whatever you want to, you know, yay, I won, whatever you want to comment. Um, and send me an email at brightenyourday at yahoo.com. I will have it right here. Okay, I need you to send me an email and I will need your name, your YouTube name, just to make sure it's you, and your um, address. It is free shipping if you are within the U.S., if you are overseas, because I know I do have some awesome subscribers in Australia, um, Europe, uh, all over, um, you guys are entered as well. The only thing with um, shipping overseas is it is very expensive, so I will split the shipping cost with you. So if you went overseas, that's awesome. I'm so glad you won. I just will need some payment information. So um, let's go ahead. I think that was it. Oh, you will be winning five pieces of jewelry. I already have them put together. They're in a cute little box. Your, um, each box contains at least one piece of 925 silver at minimum of one new attack piece. Um, and yeah, that's it. They're already pre put together. Um, I'm going to get one has a one on it. One has a two on it and one has a three on it. And I'm going to put the person's name on the box as they win. Does that make sense? So the first person I pick is gonna get box number one. Second piece, the second person I pick gets box number two. And the third person I pick gets box number three. I will not be redrawing, okay? So you have 72 hours to respond back or you forfeit your giveaway. If you're someone who has already purchased from me before, I will try and reach out to you. But again, I will not be holding your boxes. So you have 72 hours to claim your box and that's that. All right, so I have already um, copied my YouTube, copied my YouTube video link. Let's see if this actually works. I put my YouTube URL, we're filtering duplicate users, we're filtering the comments by the word giveaway, and let's get our winner. Okay, Karen, oh my gosh, Karen, you won the first box. Congratulations, I want everyone to give a congratulations to Karen. Karen is a longtime subscriber and always comments. Um, guys, she also has an awesome Poshmark closet. All right, we are just going to take a screenshot of that. Okay, Karen, you are our first giveaway. So now we are going to be picking another person. What, three, two, one. And it's and Jean, okay, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but you want our second giveaway. Congratulations. I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot that one as well. I greatly appreciate you entering and commenting and being subscriber. And now we're gonna pick our last giveaway winner. Three, two, one. Jennifer, oh my gosh, guys, I swear this is not rigged. But Jennifer, um, French teacher in Virginia, guys, she also has an amazing YouTube channel. Jennifer, a French teacher in Virginia, um, she won our third giveaway. And guys, she's not getting Tiffany. <laughs> no one's getting Tiffany. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I am, I, wow. So congratulations to everyone. Everyone give a round of applause. Um, yay. So Karen, Jennifer, and then I honestly don't know how to pronounce that um, other person's name. I am so sorry. Um, Angie, we're just going to Angie. Angie, Karen, and Jennifer. You guys won my giveaways. Um, Jennifer and Karen, I already have your information. So I will need Angie's. So Angie, please comment. You have 72 hours to claim your giveaway. And again, free shipping if you live in the U.S. or if you live overseas, I will split it with you. So everyone, I want everyone to put a round of applause, put some, you know, congratulations in the chat for our giveaway winners. And yeah, I'm so excited. Three people got uh, mystery boxes. So that's that. We're going to go ahead and get back to the unboxing. Um, earrings. It's a lot of seaweeds. And this, I believe, is broken. Holy moly, this is a adorable <gasps> look at this charm bracelet there's a little mouse or rat um a little seahorse a little shark an octopus 
a shark. Um, so maybe this one's a dog. No, that's a shark too. Um, we have a little cheetah jaguar. We have a bull. We have a little stuck. And that's it. That's all there's on here. This is adorable. There's no markings on this. Um, so I'm going to have to do some research, but that is absolutely adorable. Look at those little charms. So cute. I love that. I have so much to research, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, let's see what this is. A few of these hoops. They look like they're in excellent condition. Um, let's do... They're two and a half inch hoops. Let's do a, a dollar on them. Why not? Why not? Okay. Then we have these that are also hoops. These are quite unique. These are three inch hoop. Let's do two dollars on these ones. Those ones are really cool. And we have these that'll just be craft. This looks like a sterling chain. This looks like it could be sterling. Guys, I'm running very low on boxes. So um, my next unboxing, I don't know guys, let me know. Do you guys want to see a shop goodwill lot? Um, and if so, what kind of lot do you want me to do? Because I have a sterling silver ring lot. I have all brooches. I got all brooches. I think I have like four or five pounds of brooches. Um, I have one that's all natural stone jewelry. I have one that's just a mix, like five pounds of just mixed jewelry, kind of like a blue box. Um, let me know what kind of shop goodwill lot you guys want me to do next. This is the dollar. Okay, this could also be sterling. I think it is. This is sterling. Guys, we're getting a lot of sterling. Oh, look, we have the matching necklace to that bracelet. Again, no maker's marks. So it's a very short necklace. That is a very short. That's like a child. Um, okay, what was this marked? This is marked Mex Sterling 925. Oh, wow. Let's see what it gets. Look at this link. If it's my link, I'm keeping it. <gasps> no, it's like 15 and a half. It's 15 and a half inches once you clasp it. No, I love this. Oh, I love this chain. Oh, look how awesome that is. We're gonna test that for sterling. Okay, we have that earring. This could be gold filled. Has like a little, I wanna say that's like a quartz. Yeah, quartz amethyst citrine. So that's pretty, probably gold filled. Okay, I wanna see what this is. This has a fully pavade clasp on it. And these look like maybe, I don't even know what these beads could be. Let's see if there's any markings. There is no markings on this clasp. These are going to diamond. These are going all the way up to diamond, guys. I don't know. They look more like CZs to me. I don't know. They're definitely natural stone of some kind because they're going way up on my Presidium. Look, oh. Look, right there, diamond. So I don't know. It's not sterling, is it? Oh, I'm gonna test it with my actual diamond tester and see what that shows up. What, what are these stones? Because that's definitely amethyst. Quartz, amethyst, citrine. What about the green ones? The green ones are going up to jadeite spinel. So it could be jade. Yeah, jadeite spinel. And the purple one was at quartz, amethyst. Oh no, now, now the purple one's going all the way up to Jadeite Spinel. And guys, I did um, calibrate this before. Yeah, it's calibrated. So, hmm. This is a very interesting piece. There's not a single mark on this clasp. You would think it would be sterling. Let's test for sterling right now, instead of waiting till the end, because I'm very curious about this piece. Because they want to put you know, diamonds or even jade if it wasn't, you know, something. It 
it is sterling. So that is sterling clasp, even though there is no marks on it at all. Unmetal wash over the sterling. I thought we were missing beads, but you know what, guys? I think they're all there. I think all of those stones are there. Wow. Okay. This is insane. So if these are diamonds, like, that's crazy. Um, I've noticed this has been kind of finicky with diamonds. It's been testing, um, it's been testing CZ's, um, like, lab-created diamonds as diamonds. And I'm not sure if that's something just wrong with my Presidium. So it's, it's going up on my Presidium. Actually, well, that did be... Oh, well, it's diamonds. It's it's testing on my diamond testers diamonds as well. So that's crazy. So we have a diamond encrusted clasp with jade. That's crazy. I'm going to have to do a lot of research on this. This will probably not be for sale and it probably won't have a price just because I will have to figure out what this is. Because who's going to have a diamond encrusted clasp and not mark it? Like, that's insane. So this is definitely a major research piece. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Um back to back to the rest of the jewelry box, which this box is insane, guys. Um this is a silver tone. By the way, I did give that other like kind of like cha-cha bracelet to my nana and she loved it. I thought she would. Um this this is about a 7 3 quarters ish. Let's just do th uh, $2 on it. These are all glass beads. These are like a cobalt blue. Maybe they're black. I can't tell, but $2. With the lighting, it kind of like changes it up. Um, this looks like it could be sterling. Guys, this box is a crazy box. Crazy box, crazy box. Okay. I might have to pause you guys and untangle this. I don't, I try not to do that. I try. I know you guys like to see me untangle things, but I don't like to take forever in my box. Yeah, I'm going to have to untangle this because, yeah, I can't get this out. So give me a minute. I'm going to untangle it. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So this is all sea beads, and the sea beads are coming off of this. So that is just going straight to the craft. Um, so we have some earrings. Okay, so I already untangled most of it. So we have this iffy. Um, little necklace that says shopping at sea. Um, that'll just be a dollar. Um, this is marked sterling or 925. This was very tangled. Yes, 925. Um, I'm gonna have to do some research. It's like half of a world or it's cheetah print. Is it cheetah print? I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. Um, maybe a mountain. I'm not really sure. Really cool. So um, we will test it for sterling. This was a really pretty necklace. I think I've had it before. This is 1928. Yes, 20, 1928. Um, and that's their signature print on the back of the pattern. It's like little paisleys. Um, let's do $8 on the 1928. Really pretty necklace. Definitely a sellable piece if no one takes that. Um... Let's see. This is another little pretty bracelet. Very dainty. This one is a seven and a half up to a nine or eight and three quarters. We'll just do three dollars on that bracelet as well. This will just be in craft. The, ooh, these look like real pearls. I tried not to look at things too good. I was like, I want to try and be surprised. These are real pearls. So let's see. What does the clasp say? The clasp is 925 silver. So let's get a little length on this little necklace. This is really pretty. Very cute, dainty. Would be really good to layer. It's 15 inches. A very dainty little itty bitty pearls. Let's do $15. $15 for 15 inches. And I will test the clasp to make sure it's silver. Talking about silver, this looks like silver. There is no maker's marks on this at all. But this definitely has that sterling look, so we'll look into that. We'll test it. We have an earring. We have this really pretty necklace. Um, there's no markings on it. it. Has all of its little purple rhinestones. Oh, it is marked. Casey, so we have a Kenneth Cole. K 
KC Kenneth Cole. So let's just do $2 on it. $2 on the Kenneth Cole. This was an interesting find. So this is not marked anything. And I think it clasps here in the back like that. And then you would have like this open part in the front. So you have these, I believe, real faux. I'm not really sure. They're like big pearls of some kind. I'm assuming faux. Yeah, these are faux. So these are faux pearls, um, all different shapes, but it is new with tags free people. So new with tax free people, it even has an item number retailed for $48. Free people resells extremely well. I'll probably list this for $40. So if anyone is interested, I will do 20 on it. So this is a free people necklace. We will do $20 on that. That's really cool. Free people. All right, this I think was marked something, maybe, Avon. Um, so we have a very dainty Avon necklace. It, it is a little tangled, so we have these little mother of pearl beads. I did that, but it's really pretty. There it goes, just like that. It's Avon, let's just do $3, it's really pretty. We have this um, bracelet, it has this cute little like teddy bear. How adorable is that? It gives me Lucky Brand, not Lucky Brand, um, Juicy Couture vibes. Um, it is a six and a half to eight, eight and a half bracelet. And let's just do $2 for that with a little teddy bear. How adorable. Okay, we have this. Oh, this is a chain. I didn't see that. Um, oh, it's broken. So this is a broken chain. Womp, womp, womp. It's probably sterling. It is. It's marked 925. Um, next we have this really cool beaded necklace. That'll just be $2 if anyone likes it. Very boho. We have these faux pearls that are Monet. It does have somewhere on the clasp and on the chain. These are glass faux pearls. There might be a very little bit, and I mean very little bit of wear, and I'm just talking like a little scratch here, a little speck there. Um, let's do $5 on the Vintage Monet. Pretty good condition for the age. This is marked that. So if anyone knows what that is, please let me know, because I sure as heck don't. It's on a black cord. Okay, we have this little necklace with the yin-yang. Um, that'll just be a dollar. This is pretty. This is a, ooh, a White House Black Market. Um, silver tone in excellent condition. These are all black faceted crystal beads. It's extremely long. Let's get a measurement. It is 53, just shy 54 inches. Um, and let's do, let's do 10 on this. This is stunning. $10 on all of these black faceted beads. That is a lot of glass beads there. Okay. And then we have our last P. Oh no. Oh guys, I forgot to untangle that other tangle. I got so excited. I was like, oh yeah, I'm finally done. This is a bra. So this is unique. This is some kind of rhinestone bra. We're going to put that to the side. Guys, I forgot to untangle this. I do have the match to that earring. Um, I got so excited about finishing the other tangle, I forgot to untangle this one. Fun. Okay, so I have this untangled. I don't see any maker's marks on this at all. These are all pearls. These are all pearls and mother of pearl. Very pretty. It is on like a wire easy on easy off that is stunning um i'm gonna google lens this and i will have a price on the screen because that is just so unique so i'll google lens that i'll have a price on the screen okay next we have a three strand choker necklace okay i got this one untangled huh it looked like there was a marking on it. Um, 
I'm not sure about that. And that will just go to the side. So that was my box. So I'm going to pause you guys. I'm going to match up all the earrings and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we've matched everything up. I can honestly don't remember what I gave prices on and what I didn't. So um, I'm not sure. So these are the singles. And we also have a single 925 earring. So womp womp. And then we also have the single 925 earring, which was absolutely stunner. So if anyone got those in another box, let me know. This was also a single. So these are going to go to craft because they have some wear. These are super cute silver tone with a dyed mother of pearl. Almost, um, almost like an abalone kind of look. And those will just be $2. We have these earrings. Those will just be $2. Like resin acrylic. We have these gold tone hoop earrings. Those will just be $2. We have these like handmade clay earrings. $2. We have these huge silver tone hoops. They are a three and a quarter, three and a half inch, two dollars. They're huge. Two dollars for those. These were so cute, but unfortunately really messed up. So those are craft. I'm so sad because they were so cute. These are like a brassy kind of color. Those are going to craft as well. These are vintage. It is like almost a bamboo or a tree, like a bark kind of. I think it's bamboo. Really nice hoops. We're going to do five for these. They are vintage and really good gold plating on these. So those ones are going to be five. They're really nice. These ones are like a Tibetan style. We could test them for sterling. We're going to test these for sterling just to make sure they're not like a gold for May. Um, these I still got to look up. They're absolutely stunning. They're so pretty. I love those. Um, okay, so we have all of these huggy hoops. I don't believe any of them are. No, they're, they're magnetic. So we have this rose gold pair, $2. We have this pair that are a little bit bigger. You can kind of see the difference in size. So a little bit different size. So $2 a piece. Then we have the same in gold, except for the gold ones are a little bit smaller. And those will also be $2 a piece. So if anyone wants all four pairs, let's do $5. $5 for all four pairs if someone wants all four pairs of the hoops. Okay, then we have these. Let's just do $3 on these ones. They're really cool and unique. They're like 3D. So $3 for those. Then we have like these handmade like clay earrings. It's like a terracotta terrazzo. Um, $2 for those. Um, $2 for these. These are going to go in craft. Um, these are super cute little hoops. Those will just be a dollar though. Those are just going to be a dollar. Um, these I'm going to Google Lens and see if anything comes up. They remind me of either Swarovski or Kate Spade. They definitely just have a very nice feeling to them. Um, these ones are unmarked, but I want to say they are like a bobble bar. But they do have some wear, so those will just be a dollar. We have these like rhinestone-y. Oh, they're missing stones, so those are craft. We have these ones that are really pretty. This will just be $2. So next we have a pair of vintage, I would assume rhinestone little earrings. Don't see any maker's marks. Let's do $3 for those. They're absolutely stunning. Um, okay, next are these mother of pearl, pearl and seed bead. And let's do $4 for those. So it's a little pearl, a little piece of mother pearl, and then a seed bead. $4 on those. And then these, I'm still going to do a little bit more research on. I think there could possibly be gold filled. And that was my earrings. Oh, and these. Um, these, I think I'm just going to throw in craft because they have some tarnishing. So if anyone wants them, they're like a dollar. Okay. 
So that was that. And let's go ahead and test our sterling now. So take my little cloth from earlier, clean that off. Let's go ahead and test. All right, guys. So I just tested everything. And first of all, I'm completely out of acid, like completely empty. I took every single drop to be able to test all of this. So I need to get more acid. Um, so things I tested for sterling. All right. Sorry about that. So these 925 Mexico earrings are 925. I'm not sure if it's focusing or not. There we go. Um, so these earrings are 925. These earrings are not testing as 925. So I may not have scratched them hard enough to go through the gold plating, um, but they are marked something on the post. So I will have to double check that and make sure it's not gold. Um, these did test for 925 surprisingly. So that is quite interesting. Um, so we do have real turquoise and pearls on that earring as well. So that's quite a unique earring. Um, this clasp did test for sterling. This chain tested for sterling. Um, this whole necklace, <laughs> this whole necklace is testing for sterling. This whole necklace. Um, the sodalite or the lapis tested for sterling. Let's see. Um, this Mexico chain tested for sterling. The Dawkins necklace, the other Dawkins necklace tested for sterling. Um, this bracelet did not. Um, this, what was it marked? F-L-O, P-L-O, P-L-O. So I'm not sure who that is, but it's not sterling. Um, this ring is sterling. This ring is sterling. New tags on top of that. Um, this ring did test for sterling. This chain did test for sterling. This ring did not test for sterling. So it was the cuff, silver, silver, ring, 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 ring. Yeah, so this ring did not test for sterling. All right, um, now for the, the, like, the best pieces, I feel like. The James Avery is sterling. The Judith Ripka is sterling. This silver chain is sterling and this broken silver chain is sterling. And for possibly the best piece, or at least the most sterling, this cuff is solid sterling silver, guys. This cuff is solid sterling silver. Um, so it says, have patience with everything unresolved in your heart and try to love the questions themselves as if they were locked, locked something or looks written. Guys, I can't read. It's really, really fine print script, but it has like a whole thing, like a whole, maybe it's a well-known one and I just don't know it. It's by Rick, I think it says, R-I-C-K. All right, R. I can't. I literally. I just can't make it out. I'm not really good with cursive. Um, there's the signature right there. I'm not sure, but um, this is solid sterling silver. It tested for sterling. So this alone, guys. This would. This if I would have. I wonder if. What if we weighed all the sterling? This right thing alone right here would be awesome. This cuff is. 38.6 grams, okay? This necklace is 31 grams, so that's what, 60 grams right there. Um, this Judith Ripka is sterling. This James Avery was sterling. This was sterling. This was sterling. <laughs> All of these rings. Um, this was sterling. This well, that's sterling in beads, sterling, sterling. Okay, we've maxed out the gram scale. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that happen before. This is all sterling. That is all sterling, guys. So this is insane. Oh, and this was sterling. Um, this was sterling. 
I don't know if I've ever received this much sterling in one box, like weight wise. This is, this is insane. And don't forget guys, this little 14 karat gold, um, little itty bitty 14 karat gold charm or pendant. So, and this, that's diamonds. <laughs> so guys, I don't even know what else to say except for please give this video a like. Please leave a comment. Um, please make sure you are subscribed with all mail notifications turned on. If you won my giveaway, please comment. Please send me an email. Congratulations to everyone who won. I'm not going to say who won at the end because I want to make you actually watch the whole thing. <laughs> so um, thank you to those who won. Please send me an email. If you, again, if there's anything in this video that you were interested in, all you got to do is send me an email at brightenyourday at yahoo.com and send me a screenshot and a timestamp of the items that you are interested in. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.